you know, people, what really nauseates me with all these holiday Christmas commercials is all these this, <clears throat> these unbearable uh, fine jewelry commercials from Jared and Zales and K Jewelry trying to sucker people, particularly men, actually only men, sucker them into going into deep debt by spending thousands of dollars on uh, so-called precious gem diamond jewelry for their girlfriends, hus uh, fiancés, wives. They pay several thousand uh, uh, because a, for a diamond whatever, a ring or a um, necklace, tennis bracelet, they go to a, a, an expensive uh, nationally advertised jewelry chain like, like the ones I mentioned. Okay, K Zales, Jared, because they got a guilt trip on them, laid on them because the women expect them to do it. They get suckered into going into debt for this fine jewelry, for these diamonds. And in reality, the diamond is not even a precious stone because they control the exportation of diamonds from South Africa. The De Beers Diamond Company deliberately does not export as many diamonds as they can just to keep the price up. So as a result, they rip people off in the retail fine jewelry industry. The middlemen in the United States uh, rip people off even more because the markup is astronomical. And these n disgusting, exploitive, nauseating fine jewelry commercials from Zales, K's, and Jared use psychology on these poor suckers, these men as well as the women they're dating. Okay, just for that bearded clam, they have to go into deep debt. I think it's very unfair. I think it's capitalist exploitation, retail exploitation, and I think it, it makes me absolutely sick and nauseated when I see these commercials on TV and these poor suckers get suckered in. They sucker to get suckered in. It makes me totally disgustipated to see these fine jewelry commercials. Oh, he must have went to Jared. He must have went to Jared. I think he went to Jared. Give me a break. Get the hell out of here. That's all I gotta say right now. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it for the holidays. All right, all right. I forgot to mention, let me kill two birds with one stone, get it? Two birds with one stone. If, you have, if you're one of those suckers that spends a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand or more on a, in a diamond jewelry at any of the nationally advertised rip-off racket fine jewelry chains in the United States, like your Zales, K's or Jared, the one I hate the most. Remember one thing: you, it, a diamond is not an investment unless you have a certificate from the Gemological Institute of America stating that it is a very high-quality, clear stone with very few or no inclusions. Otherwise, it is not an investment. You'll let's say you get suckered into paying 5000 for a diamond ring for your wonderful girlfriend <clears throat> and I use that term loosely or wife and several years down the road you try to resell it try to go back to the same jewelry store they will give you next to nothing for the stone for the jewelry next to nothing so you suckers will totally and legally be ripped off officially okay 
That's all I have to say again, because I'm not sure if I said it in the previous video. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 signing off with words of wisdom. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.